Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Yasmin K, back with another video. Um, in this video, we're gonna be talking about our skincare routine because you can't have clear skin and get rid of acne and hyperpigmentation if you don't have a good routine. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about our routine. I'm just gonna be breaking down um, a good routine. And this is for people who um, skin barrier hasn't been compromised. I feel as though if your skin barrier is compromised, you're gonna have a different routine. And I am gonna be dropping a video soon about that. So just stay tuned, we got you. I'm gonna help y'all figure it out so we can bounce back. So yeah, we are just gonna be talking about skincare routine for dry acne prone skin. I'm just going to give some advice and break it down so you can have a more clear um, understanding on what you should be doing every day and every night. Okay, so let's just get into the video. So, of course, the first step is cleanser. Everyone knows you have to cleanse your face and cleanser. Like if you've been watching some of my videos, you know that a double cleanse and you can have a double cleanse, which is going to be like an oil cleanser. And then you also can have a regular face wash. Um, but I feel like a basic routine, as long as you have a face wash and you're using it day and night, depending on how dry your skin is, you probably just use it at nighttime. But now that I like, I have dry skin and it really get like flaky and stuff like that. If I don't combat it, I feel as though you still with act if you have acne, if you have acne, I feel like you still should wash your face in the morning and at nighttime and you just need to find better products that help combat the dryness so your skin stays moisturized throughout the day that's how i feel but anyways with the cleanser you need to cleanse your face me personally i use um i use like gentle cleansers where it like doesn't have really any actives in it the cleanser i'm using right now is dermalogica um daily gel cleanser. I use that. Um I've also used like Cetaphil cleanser for dry skin. I really don't like the creamy cleansers. That's not for me. I do like my face to feel clean, but I don't want it to feel stripped either. And I've noticed that when I use cleansers that have like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide or any like AHAs, BHAs, whatever it is, it make my skin feel stripped and even when i use like the serums and the like moisturizers and sps all that to help like combat the dryness it still is just like irritated and it causes more acne because it's drier so i just opt in using a regular cleanser and then the stuff that i do after i cleanse my face is what help combat like any skin concerns that i have for myself and I feel as though you should do the same thing, especially if you have dry skin, because you do, you using your cleanser, you need to cleanse your face to make sure your face is clean so it doesn't cause any like inflammation or clogged pores that cause acne. But you also don't want to have that. You also don't want to have the fact that you're cleansing your face twice a day be the reason why your skin is now excessively dry. And because it's excessively dry, it's um, producing more sebum and it's also causing more irritation for the acne that you already have. And it's just causing more acne and inflammation. So it's like a double whammy with dry skin and acne prone skin because it's like the products that you use for your acne nine times out of ten is going to dry your skin now but dry skin is it can cause inflammation and inflammation causes more acne so it's like oh my gosh but that's why i just decided to use a gentle cleanser um i also pre-cleanse you just want to get your skin really super clean and a lot of times it is an oil cleanser they just wash away with water so i feel as though you should also use that but if you're just starting off and you're just trying to get your feet wet and just do a simple routine just get you a good cleanser something that you like it can have the um actives in it as long as you like it stick with it and wash your face twice <laughs> wash your face twice a day twice a day that's it all right and then the next up is toner right now i don't use a toner i'm gonna be honest with y'all I don't use a toner. A lot of toners, like, with dry, I have dry skin, y'all. And this is something that I've just noticed with my acne. 
I have used many toners and it's only one toner that I'm using. It was the sample and I'm going to pick her up. So yeah. So with toners, your toner is just going to help after you wash your face, your toner is just going to help rebalance your pH and get it ready for like any serums and moisturizers. It's going to help you absorb those products. You know what I'm saying? So a toner is good for your skin, but you have to find one that you like. And if you're using one and you know that it's not really good for your skin, I suggest to stop using it until you find one that you like. That's what I do with all products. If, if you don't like it, and you feel as though it's not good for your skin, don't keep on using it until you find something that you like. Just don't use it. The basics that you need for your skin is a face wash, a moisturizer, and an SPF. So as long as you find those three that you like and that you know it doesn't irritate your skin or it's not causing any negative adverse effects on your skin, if it don't work for your skin, drop it until you find something that works. So you don't be causing any extra stress and strain on your face. Come on now. So <laughs> anyways, but back to the toner business with your toner. So the toner is good for your skin, especially if you have acne prone skin, because there's some toners that like have AHA and BHA. So it's going to target like those clogged pores. It's going to help get through your pores and clean some of that dirt and gunk out. And it's going to help your acne. You just have to figure out and find one that's good for your skin. The one that I've like, I used in a sample. It was like a little free sample that Sephora gave me. It was the Laneige, the Laneige, Laneige. I don't know which one it is. I think it's Laneige. The Laneige um, hydrating toner. That one is good. That one's a good moisturizing toner. I've used um, like Snail Rescue. I think it's called Snail Rescue. I don't know. Peach Slices. I use Peach Slices toner. I do not like that toner. And it's supposed to be hydrating, but it really like broke my skin out. And I try to use it on three different occasions. And I try to just like, have a simple, 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 simple routine. And it really broke my skin out. So it was like a lot of toners do that. Even like they use like, wood hazel. It's so many um micellar water. A lot of toners do that. So it was like for the longest, I just opted out of toners because I'm like, God damn, bitch. God damn. For real. That I was real. Oh my god damn. But now I used that toner and I probably used it for like three or three weeks to a month. And I was like, I love the way it made my skin feel like it was like satin smooth. It was so soft and smooth. So I'm gonna have to get the full I'm getting the full bottle. It's not I'm gonna have to. I am. So she on the list. So I'm getting her soon. She's coming home with big mama. <laughs> yes uh, yes but yes i love a toner i feel like though with my skin and the products that i use the products that i use i need to have as many moisturizing products as possible but i also need to make sure they're not going to clog my pores and it's really hard to find so it's like you're gonna have to do your research you're gonna have to do trial and error unfortunately i'm just i just feel as though hopefully they're advice and the information that i'm giving you help you minimize how many trials you have to do because i went through a lot of them y'all when i say i i tried so many products wasted so much money fucked up my skin barrier so many times thinking i knew what i was doing i kind of feel like i know what i'm doing now a good bit but i still am cautious because of how many times i just like had good progress and i fucked it up you know what i'm saying so yeah love a toner toners can really help your skin for the better it can help with acne it can help reduce the acne it can help reduce inflammation it can help hydrate your skin it can help cleanse it a little bit more if you don't use a double cleanser and like clear out your pores um it can also help reduce discoloration it just depends on what your skin concern is and what your skin can tolerate and you can find you a good toner for your skin skin, skin concerns so i think you should just do your research and figure out what you want to use if you want to know like more information about how different actives works i do have a video on how those actives work and how it can help treat your acne depending on the acne that you have so you can just click on my page and find those videos on my home screen the next step is your serums. So your serums is 
the step where you're going to target all of the con concerns that you have about your skin this is where i use my active so my serums like my doctor's dennis gross peel exfoliating peels how to run an acid if you're using like any vitamin c or niacinamide any serums you're going to use it's time for them to shine so from the information that i gather they say that you're supposed to put on your thinnest serum to your thickest serum if you're applying more than one serum in your routine so you're going to put on your thinnest one because it's going to absorb quicker and usually the thicker one is the ones that take a little bit long to absorb so that's how you apply those. So my serums, the serums that I do use, I do use hyaluronic acid for hydration. Of course, I want trying to get as much hydration as possible. Um, I do like um, those uh, glow recipe niacinamide drops. Those are great. Um, this also for hydration and niacinamide does help um, with discoloration and hyperpigmentation. So that's great there. I also use uh, my Dr. Dennis Gross Pills. I don't know if you would consider that a serum, but I use those. That helps target any acne and exfoliation and renewing of the cells. So those are great. Um, those are the only serums that I'm using right now, but there are a wide range of serums that you can use depending on your skin. Again, you just want to make sure that when it comes to actives, you're not um, using actives that don't work well with each other. So you need to Google that, y'all. That's stuff that you need to Google. So if you're using vitamin C, if you, I never use vitamin C. I never got into that. I just found actives and other stuff to help. Um, with discoloration but if you're using like vitamin c and salicylic acid you need to see if those go together i don't if or vitamin c and benzo peroxide you need to see i try to stay away from so many actives like that because that's a lot to remember and if you do mix those or if you don't wait a certain amount of time before using the two it can help it will fuck up your skin barrier i'm talking about help no, it will fuck up your skin barrier. And with your skin barrier compromised, it's going to cause more acne and more inflammation. So you don't want to do that. So I try, like, when it comes to actives, creep on in there. Start with the hyaluronic acid. You know what I'm saying? That's real gentle. That's for moisturizing. Start with the hyaluronic acid. So, yeah, guys, with the actives, you just want to make sure that you're being cautious about it because... We want to keep our skin as healthy as possible, especially the skin barrier, because this was going to help protect our skin and not cause any more inflammation. All right. Okay, y'all. So next up is your moisturizer, y'all. And this is really like a staple and a foundation in your routine. You really, really need a good moisturizer because you want to keep your skin moisturized so it doesn't cause your skin. Lost my audio, but we back, y'all. So your moisturizer is just going to protect your skin and your skin barrier. So it's going to also going to make sure that your skin does not produce any excess sebum because we know sebum is what's going to cause us to break out more so if you have dry skin make sure you're moisturizing also you need to make sure that you use your spf spf is very very important especially if you have um hyperpigmentation and you're using actives you need that spf your spf is just going to protect your skin it's going to make sure those dark spots don't get any darker so so you need to be using that every day. You're supposed to reapply it twice a day. I don't do that, but you should. You should definitely reapply it twice a day and you're going to see those discolorations and hyperpigmentation changing your skin, even like age spots or anything like that. So yeah, that is my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any advice about what I do to my skin outside of these steps here, just comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anybody. Everybody stay blessed and stay positive.